What's up YouTube? So today we are going to be installing some mud flaps on my dad's new side-by-side. -side. He just got a 21 Polaris XP1000 and he's already complaining about he's getting muddy. So we're going to install some Tusk fender flares. Um, try to help, help uh, keep the mud out of the cabin and off the driver and passenger. It does take, I would say, two people to do this. Um, just because the holes don't totally line up with each other very good. So it kind of takes some finagling and stuff like that. So I'll tell you what bolts to start with first and uh, how to make it easier for you to install. Um, we'll throw a link in there. These ones are the Tusk uh, Fender Flares. They're roughly about 150 bucks. Um, Super ATV makes some too. Those are more like 400. You can get Mud Busters. There's another one you can get. Uh, we'll just throw a couple links for a few different ones if you're looking for some uh, fender flares. So we'll get in with the video and uh, show you how to get these installed. All right guys, we got all these uh, fender flares installed all the way around. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little recap on uh, some of the things that we did. Um, starting with the front ones. When you start in the instructions, it wants you to, you got these little tabs and the little cutouts in the fender flares here. And the bottom ones are really hard to get on, so you really, really gotta push on it. And once you do that, once you get those tabs in, you're gonna wanna slide up this, slide up the whole fender flare and quick run in your first two screws. On the instructions, they give you kind of a layout that you wanna do, um, so you can just go by that. We put two down here as starters, and then we started our way up. Right after the first crease, you're gonna to wanna to put two more screws, and then right in the middle, two more. Right before the next crease, you're gonna put two more, and then up at the top, after the last crease, you're gonna run two here, and then one more at the end. And these are all self-tap uh, Phillips screws. Uh, so you're just gonna run those into your factory uh, fenders that you have already. Um, and that's it for the, the front ones are the easiest ones. Super easy to put on. All right, moving on to the back fender flare. So you can see in the video, us taking out in these spots here behind here is there's these little push pins um, you don't have to take out the middle one 
and you just take out where these bolts go. So <clears throat> this bottom bolt, I believe I just mentioned that it takes a nut and a bolt for here. And then you get the uh, U-shaped nuts that go on the back side here. And then you run a bolt in. And then up here, you'll take from the outside um, that screw out of your factory fender. And then you'll put in that L-shaped bracket with a U-shaped nut on the back of that. And then that's where that uh, bolt will run in. So the bolt that I would start with is this one right here. That one was the hardest to get lined up. Um, that and the one with the bracket. But we went with the middle one first. And then we lined up this one. This one was pretty difficult. Also, we had to really force that one in there. Um, we probably could have just took a drill and drilled that out. But we got them in there. Then tighten up the nut on the back side. And then you come up here, run this one in. Once you get that one tight... Um, then you're going to run your uh, bolt back in uh, snug with your factory fender. And then you're going to come to the top. And we just ran in two screws, kind of right in the middle, right there and there. And that holds the top on. Then that, yep, that bolts through the uh, factory fenders also. So, I mean, once you uh, got them in there, hopefully you don't have to take them out. Otherwise, you're going to have two holes. So that's the end of this video. Um, if you're having trouble installing your Tusk Fender Flares, I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Um, it was definitely a little bit of a challenge. Um, but once you get the right, you know, sequence down, I think if you start with that one middle bolt and everything else just kind of lines up and having two people really helps too. So um, just grab a buddy and get these things installed in half an hour or less, I would say. It's not that difficult so um or if you're looking for a cheap set of fender flares um just to keep that mud out of you off from you and um we'll throw a link in there for these these were right around 150 bucks um we'll give you some other different links to like super atv or mud busters just to give you a few different options so um if you would like to see more players content on this channel maybe comment uh what you would like to see um this polaris is basically stock so i believe the next thing that we're going to do is we got some tree kickers for it and maybe a winch and a front bumper coming for it too so we can do some some videos on that but uh don't forget to like and subscribe and uh we'll see you at the next video